you may want to ask why murals are important. It is no secret that murals make neighborhoods beautiful. They add color to building walls and streets which would otherwise go unnoticed. They are a treat for locals and tourists alike. Murals have been part of Nigeria's cultural landscape for thousands of years. The term mural became popular with the Mexican Muralism Act movement. The transformation which took place in the history of mural art during the 1920s and 1930s was highly influenced by the government's sponsorship in Mexico. The Mexican president Alvaro Obregón began a nationalist cultural program in the 1920s. As part of this program, the Mexican Ministry of Education and other government entities to create public murals. In Lagos, the visual effects of wall paintings are an excitement to attract public attention to social issues like the ones here under the Falomo Bridge. An artist, Polly Alakija created these murals on the columns in homage to the Bring Back Our Girls, the 276 school girls who were abducted on April 14, 2014 by Boko Haram. We speak to an artist, Ebeniza Omoli, a 34-year-old who started off as a child and has been painting for many years. This is one of the locations where he has some of his works. He explains the processes involved. There's a way I blow this color. When you look close to it, you see as if it's flowing down, it's flowing down. So. I have to follow the flowing down, then blow it both right, left and right, so in order to make it creative, so that it won't just go down straight, but go left, right, and zigzag like that. I mix another black thicker than this, then to write what they have here. Especially like this is we have food here, then we have swimming pool, swimming pool here, then we have games, then we have drinks here, then we have pools, music. So I just did an artwork that will speak for this place because this is a restaurant. So I did those backgrounds so to speak. So anybody coming inside looking at this place alone so they will know what is going on around there. He speaks on the distinguished effects imbibed in artistic painting than ordinary ones on the wall. Ordinary painting is, is just maybe changing the wall to a particular color that you like. Mora is very interesting, and I used to say it. No painting is complete without um, an artwork like this. So for your, for your painting to come out well, so you need to add some artistic to it so that will make it more, because a lot of people in the world, they cherish artwork. Now, for example, now, this is lion. A lion represents a king and a uh, the writing here, so it's all about this place. Because this restaurant is not just a restaurant, it's a, it's a reggae restaurant. So that's why we have most of the color here, reggae color. Ebenezer further explains that murals are a mode of expression for artists in every graphic style imaginable, abstract, photorealistic, expressionist, to name just a few. Anyone who is into painting, and had a mora painting into his work, we get more job than just ordinary painting. No matter how bad situation a building have, when you design it with artistic, even though if it is hot or old building, when you paint it well with um, this mora artistic painting, it add more value to the build, uh, building and it make Lagos look more beautiful than you know, as a community centerpiece, the wall painting gets a new dimension as a powerful visual communication tool meant to promote the opinion of the people and transmit social and political messages towards unity. Murals bring art into the public spheres and because they occupy public spaces, are accessible to everyone regardless of class, education or ethnicity.